Today's video is about 7018 shield metal arc welding electrodes, particularly called Excalibur. So to start off, we're going to talk a little bit about the flux. The 7018 rod is a fill freeze type of rod. It has a mineral based flux. Now this is a heavy flux. It really grabs hold of the weld and you really need to make sure you clean it off. Unlike the other video we did on 6010, which is a fast freeze rod, 7018 is just simply drug across the metal. We just drag it. We can't whip it with a whip technique like we did with 7018 because of the difference in flux. This is considered a low hydrogen electrode. The guys out in the field call it high low, low high, but it's a low hydrogen electrode because hydrogen in the air, in the atmosphere, what we're breathing right now, is a weld's worst nemesis. So this is a low hydrogen electrode and the way that we keep the hydrogen out of the flux is we keep this stuff in one of those bake ovens over there that you saw in your shop tour video. These are kept in an oven and baked about 250 degrees to keep any moisture out of them. Now that doesn't mean you can't use them around your garage or around your shop if they've been sitting out. But if you're going to do code work with these 7018 electrodes, there's a very specific time frame that these can be exposed to the atmosphere before they have to be in an oven and rebaked. The same as the 6010, the designation on the rod, 7018, 70,000 PSI. It is an all position rod, which means we can run it flat, horizontal, vertical, and overhead. We can do stringer beads with this rod. We can do weave beads with this rod. This is a, this is a very, very strong and good rod. So typically how it works is we run the root pass of the weld, whether it's an open root or whether it's a pre-qualified but with backing weld or whether it's a fillet weld with a multi-pass weld over top of it. We run the root with 6010 we cover the rest of it up with 7018. Now again, this rod does not penetrate like 6010 does. It fills up better than 6010. It doesn't go deep and narrow, it goes shallow and wide. And it's perfect to lay over top of the 6010. Again, it's a thick, heavy flux that needs to be cleaned very well. The 6010 flux is much Flakier, you can usually wire brush it off. The 7018, you can wire brush off too, but you need to make sure you get it out of all the little nooks and crannies because this is the flux that if you weld over it can create slag inclusions in your weld, which are a problem. So the 7018, or any electrode for that matter, starts the same way. We can use the pecking method to get the arc lit. We peck it, lift it up, bring it down and away we go. Or we can just scratch start this thing. But we always want to have proper rod angles both ways for the joint that we're using. But the 7018 is just a perfect straight drag. We don't use any sort of a whip with this. How fast do we go? Your instructors are going to show you all that. You go as fast as the puddle tells you to go. You want a nice round puddle and you want to just drag this stuff across. Now just like with any of your beginning welds, the first weld you're going to do is a pad of beads. It's one stringer bead after another stringer bead, just a straight weld, and you want them to lap up on top of each other, about a 50% overlap, and fill that whole plate up. Because that is the first task that you're going to do when you begin your stick welding career in here. If you take the time to learn that pad really well, all the rest of your welds will go much faster and easier. It's kind of a tedious task, but that's where we're at when you start. We all had to go through it and you do too. So the 7018 is a very strong electrode. It's a very smooth electrode, very nice looking welds. When you start welding and you're comparing the 6010 to the 7018 and say that 6010 just looks very rough it's the electrode. It's not just you. Um, it may be you because you're just starting. It'll probably be rough. 
but we use the 7018 in combination with the 6010, and those are the two most common electrodes used out there in industry. You're going to use both, you're going to use them together. They are different, there's a lot of characteristics that are the same and a lot of characteristics that are different. Make sure you learn those, talk to your instructor, and get in there and make some welds.